I saw Starlet link this in the look at this DG area. Hi, welcome to DG360, everyone. And this is Unreal Engine 5 and water physics. Now, I'm a huge fan of Unreal Engine 5, man. I'm a huge fan of what I'm seeing from it. Physics are ridiculous, but I really haven't seen water physics. It kind of looks like milk physics. It might be... <laughs> fingers, fingers, you might be right. I think it might be milk physics. Looks a little bit more like milk fingers, 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 fingers. He's on today. Fingers is on today. Uh, it does a body good though. It does a body good. What's up guys, today we are gonna be checking out the future of water physics in video games. Oh, so welcome to Fluid Flux. This is like a uh, hyper-realistic water simulation plugin, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure the wow. technical term, but this is kind of like a, a dev tool here in Unreal Engine 5. And look at this, dude. Look at how the water's finding the path of least resistance, moving in, filling up all these little... Filling up all the crevices. I mean, it's it's very aptly named, Fluid Fux. No, that's not, that's not, the, it's Fluid Fux. Oh, oh, thanks, Pepe, for that. Thank you. That's, sorry. <laughs> Holes and, and cubbies and everything and making its way downhill. The debris falling with it. Look at the debris getting caught in these little uh, vortexes here before continuing to make its way. Oh, gosh, dude, this, this is insane. If you have debris in your fluid, you better go get it checked. I'm just saying. Hey, this is truly the future of video games. This is, is what we get to look forward to in the very near future. Look at this. It's creating this little vortex waiting to fill up before it can spill out yeah. down here. Oh, we've got a little a little turnstile thing. Go, go see a doctor. So that's turning. This is all making its way downhill. I want to go check out what we've got going on on the other side. Ooh, okay. We've got a little... I, I love this dude's commentary on water physics. I love it. Like, <laughs> you know, like, oh, here it comes over this... Oh, over this rock, man. Yeah. A boat here. That's going to start to float. So this all all started with that little area up top, up in that That's top cool. right corner. And now we can see slowly over time. I like the links. I mean, the water is just filling shit. in exactly it. where it would go in real life. Like this, this isn't a pre-programmed thing. This is actual physics. We're swimming around in it. Look how the ripples are. Dude, <laughs> this is wild. Can we dive? We can dive here. Look at the ripples on the surface of the water here. And the debris floating over our head. The I want to go ripples. see this, this boat. Can What's we up, see Damon? the boat start to float? Looks like the water's got to pick it up. It's going to have to get up over these. Dude, this is seriously incredible. Think about the future of this. Think about... This is what we need for Star Citizen, man. I want I want buoyancy. I want uh, floating origins, you know? You know, GTA 6 or whatever other major games are coming out in the future. Think about the... So many devs are telling me how easy it is uh, using Unreal Engine 5. Like, so many. Oceans of GTA and having something like this in there. Looks like the boat finally got dislodged here. Dude, this is wild. Slowly yeah. moving into this cave here. Let's see what's on the yes, other side of this. Yes, oh, we're, yes, we're, we're bringing the boat out to the beach down here. She's kind of stuck. Can we, can we? It is very fluid. Just everything. The animations, the graphics, the engine really does handle a lot. And everything I've ever seen from Unreal Engine, uh, the newest update, was about a year or so old now. Just so fluid, so smooth. Everything looks so cherry, man. Push. We could push, dude. Look at that. Real-time physics. The water is reacting to what we're doing. The boat's reacting to what we're doing. I'm going to move the front end. Then we can move the back end and maybe send this thing downstream. <laughs> Dislodge this bad wow. boy. I'm going to try wow. to... Ah, oh, we can't push it straight. I want to I want to send it with the bow forward, but wow, that's, it's all right. That's, She's going to go in reverse. I have to say, it's very accurate. The... 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 the <laughs> The animations in the water sometimes are a little janky, but not not that bad. You know, like overall, it's a very good experience. We need a little bit more water here. Try to push this front end, and she can we can we ride it? Maybe. I don't know if we're allowed. Oh, we're in it. We're we're kind of weighing it down though. Now that the water's not doing as much, we have slow motion too. We can slow everything down. Dude, look at the look at the little. White yeah, water crazy. effects that's and everything. Crazy. Dude, this, look at that that's right there. Crazy. That looks like you recorded that with a camera. Look at the, the little rainbow light refracting. Dude, that's crazy. On the surface of the water. I don't even know the, the, the words for it, but this is gorgeous. How the yeah. water interacts yeah, this, with this. This is base plugin, right? Exactly. Mad Style is right. This is like base plugin right now. You can work with this. You can improve upon it. But like th this in its base format is already fucking stunning. You know? Crazy. 
sand, how it's a lot clearer up near our feet, but then kind of slowly transfers into that blue as it gets deep. Oh, our boat's loose. This is truly incredible, dude. Look at it. it the, the, the river is bringing the boat down through here. It's going around this rock right here. So this current is pushing the boat. It's following that. Now it's probably going to start moving over to the left. Got kind of a, a rip current action happening here. Look at that. Look at the movement of the water. This, I've never seen anything like this. So I'm going to link the creator's YouTube channel down in the description. It's Imaginary Blend. I guess this is a... a yeah, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited about the games coming down the pipe with the Unreal Engine 5 as, as the engine. It's just the ease of use for, from what I'm hearing from devs is phenomenal. They, they, they say it cuts down production time by at least half. So you know, you know it's only going to get better from here. And the physics look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 